In this video, you will learn how to add products to your Neato control panel using the Import Wizard. The Import Wizard allows you to upload a comma-separated values file populated with your product information to add many products at once. It can also create product categories, specifics and brands that don't currently exist in your Neato control panel. To start, you will need to enter your product details into a CSV file or obtain a product file from your supplier. In the Neato dashboard, navigate to Settings and Tools and choose Import Data. Make sure Products is the selected option and then click the Perform Complex Import button. Choose Start Data Import Wizard from the drop down menu. Step 1 of the wizard is to upload your file. There's a link at the top of the page to download sample files so you can see which product fields can be uploaded and the format of the file. Once you have your file, click the Browse button and find the file on your computer. Click Open and then continue to the next step. Step 2 is the field mapping. You need to match the fields in the product file you've uploaded to the product fields in Neato. Select the Neato fields from the drop down menus in the left hand side that most closely match the fields in your file. If you've used a sample file, most of the mapping will be done for you. If there's a field you don't want imported, you can remove it using the red cross on the right hand side. You can also join fields together using the drop down menus next to your fields. Some fields, like specifics, require a particular format to import correctly, so you can use the symbols in these drop down menus to insert them and join them to other fields. You can also perform simple mathematical calculations on number fields. Once your fields are mapped, click continue to the next step. In step 3, you choose how your data is going to be updated. Select how you want products to be added using the drop down menu. You can also click on the advanced options to change how certain fields update. For some, like categories, you can replace existing data on the product rather than just add new categories to a product. In this example, we want new categories to be created on the import, so we're changing the Create New Category Options drop down box to Yes. Once you've completed setting your update options, click continue to the next step. In step 4, you can start the file import process. You can also save your import settings as a template so that you can regularly import using the same format. If you do, enter a name for the template and click the process file now button. Confirm the import and you'll be given a link to the import process. It will start automatically by itself, but you can also start it manually straight away. Click the link and on the next page, click the Run Now button. Depending on the size of your file, it may take some time to complete. Click the Refresh button to keep an eye on the status and check when it's done. Once it's complete, you can go to your products page to see your products that have been imported. In this example, we've made a minor mistake and none of our products are set as active. We can mark all the products active per page, but that will take quite a long time considering the amount of products we have. It will be much easier to update the products using the import wizard. We're going to use the same file, but this time we only need two fields, the SKU and another to mark the product as active. Since active wasn't in the original file, we can add an extra field and set it as a static value, which will then be the same for each product. Continue through the wizard and process the file just as before. Once processing is complete, all the products will now display as active. 